I'm Sherry Gingrass, and I have a, a drum store in Austin that specializes in world percussion, and um, my particular area of interest has been the drums and rhythm instruments from West Africa. And um, I actually got to go to Guinea in West Africa to study with Mama Di Keita, and that just deepened my commitment to this music and spreading it. Um, I've been teaching since probably 1998 and continue to teach at the store as well as sell the instruments um, from around the world. And I saw it as a way to create more community from um, people's understanding and knowledge and firsthand experience with the music of different cultures. I feel like it opens doors and creates pathways for understanding. I saw the film Sweet Dreams two years ago at a special screening and um, I was totally blown away by the amazing strength and courage and spirit of the women in Rwanda who are the members of Ngoma Nisha and the woman who was the founder, Kiki Kates. The screenings of Sweet Dreams happened at the Unity Church of the Hills a week ago, and we have a screening coming up at the First Unitarian Church on Grover um, this Friday night, April 1st at 7. And then we have the screening, of course, at the Carver on the 3rd. And the screening at the Carver um, is going to have a special feature because both um, the ex-ambassador to Burundi, who was ambassador at the time of the uh, 1994 genocide um, and then went on to become the ambassador to Botswana will be there and his friend um, ambassador Delisi who was the um, ambassador to Uganda among other places and both these gentlemen will be there to view the film and then be available at the Carver for a question and, and answer period. Kiki's the visionary who saw that Rwanda in healing following the uh, unspeakable uh, tragedy of the genocide in 1994. Um, she understood that though Rwanda had moved forward, they would built new buildings and uh, on the surface things were, were moving ahead, but she knew that there were still a lot of broken hearts and she knew that the women in, in Rwanda had very little opportunity for creative expression and she foresaw the possibility of drumming as an avenue to bring both the women from the Hutu and the Tutsi tribes together in one group to move forward together and heal together and create hope and possibility for their country. The funds that we are, are, are raising from the donations will go to the Ngomonisha Women's Initiatives, which helps keep the drum troupe moving forward, helps with arranging travel and promotions to get more opportunities to play. Then Kiki has a brand new project that involves spreading drumming to the um, secondary schools in Rwanda. This is her current dream and vision and where she's putting a lot of energy now is taking this to another level, especially to the young girls in Rwanda and bringing empowerment at a much earlier stage of their life.